Hello guys, welcome to the Hive Production. In this video, we are going to learn about some UVW unwrapping to create some amazing texture. So let's get it started. First of all, I have a 3D Studio Max and I'm going to create a simple box. And the measurement should be like... Uh, if I'm gonna give uh, in inches so height will be one feet and width will be six and length will be six inch but I think length is too much high so I'm gonna decrease the length something like this so we have this uh, simple box and we're gonna create the box with some UVW unwrap texture so I'm gonna go to the modifier list and I'm gonna, gonna find unwrap UVW here is unwrap UVW so when you will go to the UV open editor so you will find out this view and after flatten mapping so it will going to be open from all the sides that are front back sides then stop and this one is bottom so we have this six side of the box totally open out so i'm going to align them one by one front is going to be aligned by a rotation and this one rotation so they are side by side like this and then this is my top part so I'm gonna put them here side by side like this all right so I'm gonna put them here on the top of it let's talk about these sides uh, side panels I'm gonna rotate them here like this and as well uh, we should find out the another element the another uh, side this one and I'm gonna rotate this side rotate this side like this and put them here so as you can see this structure is going out of the box so I'm gonna scale down their size and put them here properly so we have this box with a six side open what we need to do this we need to create the texture of these each side so i'm going to go to the render uw template and i'm going to go to the render uw template and i will save this template as a jpeg or png file so i'm going to take a new folder with the packaging name and i'm going to create another folder which is called unwrap and inside of this I'm gonna save this file with called packaging in PNG format so let's go to the Adobe Photoshop first and you will find out this um, on my desktop I'm gonna save I have saved this file packaging unwrap and this one so this is my unwrap template I'm gonna create a layer and in the back side I'm gonna give the black color so I can see these textures here so I have this uh, milk tea uh, texture I'm gonna download this one and this is I have so I'll take the elements first I will take the uh, I'm gonna take the color code and uh, I'll make a color the same as was in the textures so here it is I'm gonna keep the color and also give some little bit dark so I can see this wireframe green structure and after that this is the outstanding elements I have seen these textures I'm gonna copy this and uh, I've come, I'm gonna paste here by control V so as you can see this is the beautiful <laughs> cute cow texture here and uh, we will have to adjust this one here so that was my front part as you can see so after that I'm gonna go to the pen tool and get a, create a new layer I'm gonna draw a random structure not uh, anything else just a random structure I'm gonna close this path give them mix selection and I will give the color is called this darker tone color perfect so here it is the splash element of the milk I'm gonna copy this element and we'll paste this element here 
I will place here here and uh, another one is here okay I think we should mix it down with some differentiation or different rotation likewise like this that's good so we have combined this layer and I will delete this extra segment piece out of the box so I don't need them perfect so I'm gonna uh, write a texture is called 100% natural and will give the color this blue color and I'll put them here in my splash milk splash so just set their set the alignment and this one like this perfect so we have this 100% natural texture here I'm gonna reduce the size yes uh, that's good so now I'll go to the my cow and I will put my cow inside of it and delete them and also select the white part of this milk splash press ctrl T and increase their sizing I'm gonna delete from here like this that's good so we have this milk splash cow and also another splash 100% natural okay let's give the name of uh, the box which is called milk so it is the milk texture I'm gonna copy this texture and I'll give the paste here and transform their size like this and go to the I think we should have need some changes in it so I'll delete this extra and as well what we need to do I'm gonna go to the layer style blending options of the milk texture so I'll give the this milk is splash a little bit depth and let's treat like this yes a little bit shadowish or a little bit 3d look with some proper texturing splash and also I'm gonna select this layer of a milk I'm gonna give another sorry I'm gonna give the another layer style blending options and this is going to be my blend bevel and emboss so this milk texture you can see it is also beveling and embossing here so I'm gonna give this soften level a little bit low and this is my proper texture so I'm gonna give D and so D is the meaning like this the milk so I think we should find out the font increase the size of the milk I'm gonna give the white color with some italic font so we have the texture of my first sorry front part is here and I think we should put them here I think so and the 100% natural on the here so we have this uh, texture design so I'm gonna select this extra part and delete them okay and also I'm going to write something and the data has to be like this uh, mm, one liter enter homogenized UHT process UHT should be under the line like this I'm gonna select all of them central left align and if them font size a little bit low and put them here 
also duplicate here delete them sorry select all of them it should be great a I'm gonna give the shape like this make their corner smooth with uh, 40 by 20 percent pixels and also make great on the top of it give them white color that's perfect okay so I need to select all of them I'm gonna make them group which is called front so the same thing I'm gonna copy on the another side is the front and the back so okay let's see what we are okay now I'm gonna select all of them control G group is called front and this is my back so we have designed the front and the back so the same thing we have designed it milk copy here and I'm gonna give this color and also I'm gonna to go to the Google first here is my nutrition facts charge chart but this is not for the uh, milk we should find out another I think this one is for the milk so I'm gonna copy save this <laughs> nutrition fact and I'm gonna call here on the open file this is the fact here I'm gonna select this black color make it similar and copy them and paste so here is the nutrition fact here I'm gonna put them here and I will give the color a white color so hold control T enter hold control and click on it give them a white color the same thing which we we gonna need a copy of uh, this part. Select all of them. Make a Control G group. Alt and the copy of it. Just rotate them and put them here. When you put it them here, so we need to set here. Let's talk about the top. I'm gonna give the simple plain color, white color. I think white color is enough so I'm gonna save this texture with the name of packaging and also save as as a JPEG to place on the material editor as a texture so go back to 3ds studio max I'm gonna go to the material editor but before that we should go to the render settings and I and you can follow these render settings which is how you can see on your computer go to the material editor and after that you should go to the V-Ray material first assign them go to the bitmap and find out the texture what we have created this texture assign them and you can see this texture is here but the one thing is problem that this part only this part is flip so go to the UV open editor okay rotate take the rotate and rotate this one so now the texture is ready I think the top part is not a good thing uh, so I'm gonna change the color go back to Photoshop turn on the wireframe I'm gonna give this blue color this blue color and save this so we have give the blue color on the top you can find out here is the blue color so we have this we have created this amazing textures now I'm gonna go to this cylinder and I will draw a cylindrical uh, model just to create a bottle cap 
So it is a bottle cap here. I'm gonna select them, convert them. Uh, okay, so we should go to the 25 side of it, convert them into poly, and uh, just select their edges, ring, and make them connection, make a polygons, and also extrude. This is too much extrusion. I think this is okay. I'm gonna give the white color with the very material. A little bit reflection of 0 0.8. So here it is. Uh, I think uh, our milk product is totally ready. I'm gonna call a uh, studio light setup and you can get the link in the description, the studio light setup and it is totally free, free of cost. So I'm just import this. Here it is my studio light setup. I'm gonna go to the throughout the camera. I'm gonna focus this product like this. Just turn, rotate them. I think this is okay. So set your camera angle. Okay, so go to the render settings. You can follow this render settings here. Put them on the floor, but the floor is too much downside. Let's see, okay, this is too much gap. So I'll select the floor and make them to the top. We should close these lights here and put them here. This can be filled with a gap. All right then, put the light on the top, select them and set the camera angle. Another, make, another thing that we should do this, according to me, that we should change their back plate color because the bottle is totally blue, so we don't need a blue color in the background. So I'm gonna make them a little bit, I think 8% of RGB with a dark gray color. But it's not going to be dark in the render because of the lighting, so you can get the proper render of this beautiful lighting. So as you can see in that we have created this amazing product through UVW Unwrap. If you like this, so subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon. Thank you.